Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Ash. This is Ash plays Divinity Original Sin. And we're back with the heroes of the story, Buttplug and Taco. Uh, as you can see, Buttplug, Taco, it's been a little bit since we played. Thanks to Christmas break and so forth. But now I'm back and we're inside the town of Sissio. Last time we left off, we were outside the front gates. We just conquered a... Uh, a invasion of orcs, I believe it was, led by a human. We told we were confronted by a wizard, Aru, and he told us about this town's problems. He's the one that called for the source hunters, which is what we are. We're the we're the, basically the uh, sorcerer police. Look at us. Hey, I'm here to I'm here to investigate a murder. I don't know what that that was Batman apparently. Anyway, so right now I'm out front of an inn. So far all I've done is I've gone into the town. I've t spoken with the town leader, which is like the legion commander, and then I spoke with Aru again in his little house above the legion's office. And the murder side is apparently in this inn. I also spoke with this dude. He's a member of the Fabulous 5, which is like this frivolous adventurer company and we joined them but not really we just really had a quest from them basically so what we're going to do now is go inside and uh, start our investigation now I've obviously played this before um, eventually we're going to have the ability to unlock this thing where we can go in and hire mercenaries to come help us um, but there are also companions around this world including one in this very tavern we could in theory speak with Medora here and she is a ex source hunter looking for her old glory days again and we could potentially get her there's also another companion way over here by the legion's offices she's in this cage she's like a barbarian type of class the only problem is we've already got two classes that are pretty much melee based and we need more classes that are ranged so there is one person in the library of this town named Aru that we can get. And he's actually really good. Um, but I'm thinking we might get him temporarily, but we'll end up getting rid of him. <laughs> Sorry. I got distracted. Um, so there's Aru, which we'll probably get temporarily, but I would like to try out the, the hiring system because I usually get stuck with these named companions who have dialogue and stuff but it's kind of shitty to be honest uh, I don't think that I don't think the mercenaries have any dialogue so it would be cool to see what happens with them alright let's speak with this gentleman here legionnaire greetings Sor Santa I don't mean to hinder your investigation but I can't open this door for anyone who hasn't received Captain Aureus's explicit approval I've spoken with Larius. Let me inside, please. Not exactly the friendliest bloke it. The captain is he. Well, your reward for getting your ear chewed off is a waltz through the town's finest magical murder scene. Dope. So we're going to be inside this house. Now, something's going to happen as soon as we go in here. We've been teleported. Loading homestead. So this is where the sort of story for this game opens up. Um, it seems like just a simple murder mystery. Where you're going in to solve this town's murder. Maybe do some side quests. But then you get teleported into outer space. <laughs> so uh, it gets a little bit more broad, doesn't it? Here we are. By the quill that lasts a billion words. What is this? What are you doing here? Where are the very stars come to die? Who are you and where have you come from? We are source hunters from the realm of Rivalon. Are you indeed? Sorry, is this voice good? I don't even know. <laughs> is this voice any good? Then let me tell you. Source hunters are the source. Oh, hunters are the source. What have you strayed far, far from home? Far in a place, far in time. How, I wonder. 
All we did was uh, to approach a strange stone. It shone with a blinding light, then whirled us away. A stone, you say? Could it be? Could I have been right all along? This stone, what was it? Was it bright and beauteous as a diamond? But did it glow softly deep down in its heart, as if a soul dwelled within? I'd say that's fairly accurate. <laughs> there. Starstone must be! For centuries it slept, this bound of the heavens, but now it is awaking, and it has brought us, it has brought its awakeners here. Sky of the Sill, actually, nothing. What a waste of... What a waste. All was dark and all was still, as if, as it always has been and always would be. Or so I thought, so I feared. But then the runes around me began to shimmer, shine, and dance like a fair winged fairies roused from slumber. Starstone, could it be the key after all and you its wielder? Things of light to unlock, things of darkness led us into realms forbidden, where salvation may yet be found. I, it would be great if you started making sense, bro. You're just saying big words. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, I have been making sense all along, my friend, though I did not see it, you dumb bitch. See? See! That is what you must do. Approach the looking lens and behold, if you dare, the darkness before, which even the cosmic shadows flee in terror. You know, I think that if may be quite, quite mad. Then we better approach him and have a look through the looking lens. Let's look through this looking lens. Basically, this is either like a wormhole or a black hole. Science. I watch Cosmos. I know. Neil deGrasse Tyson. He told me. Degrassi Tyson. <laughs> oh, God. Let's go through this big hand portal. Why not? Yeah, you bastard. Don't you know we're in space? Following a fucking imp. It is a statue. Um. Anyway, so we're in some sort of like hub. I think is what this place is really is. It's like a hub of adventure, where with these hands, these grasping hands, will open up different portals. I've tried every imaginable tongue, from dwarf dwarf wagon to lizard lizardese. You're just making up words now, bro. But this woman simply won't budge. Maybe she just doesn't like the look of a refined, impish face like mine. Perhaps you'll have a better luck. But do please report back if you find Source Hunter. Let's talk to this lady. A young woman is ceaselessly weaving a seemingly boundless tapestry with the delicate grace of a harpist plucking at her instrument's strings. She takes no notice of anything but her endless occupation. Who are you, madam? At first, it seems this taciturn woman will continue to ignore your presence, but then she suddenly glances at you and her eyes go wide in surprise and wonder. Her lips move ever so slightly, and when she speaks, her voice appears to reach you from an untold distance. Whispers wrestled and wrestled from oblivion. I am Batman. Oh, no, she's not Batman, which is unfortunate, but also expected. Time, the weaver of time, in the ethereal threads of eternity. I'm giving her a really deep man voice, like an announcer, but that just seems right. I, in the ethereal threads of eternity, do I record the deeds of gods and men, of beasts and spectral apparitions, the drift of continents through changing seas, the rise and fall of empires, the shift of every grain of sand on every beach, the fall of every raindrop on every world, the all but impossible perceptible touch of lovers' hands. This and all I chronicle without fault. 
Except, it seems, you. Do you mean tell me that I am not at all featured on the canvas of time? I do not mean to, but it is the only thing I can do. Your absence. It should be an impossibility. <laughs> but no matter where I look, you cannot be found. Just turn it over. I'm sure it's like around the back. Um, I do not know you, which makes you my own perennial imperfection. A blind spot in the eye of time. But perchance I may be cured of this blindness. Oh, sorry, I had to yawn there. Uh, not because this is boring. <laughs> Maybe I need a nap. Perchance you need a nap. Perchance the blemish may be undone. And time can be redeemed. How can I redeem time if, as you say, I am not part of it? I think that perhaps you can redeem time because you create time. Indeed, you have set in motion an event I no longer held no longer held possible. No, then that no longer I did weave. I sat here at the precipice of ages and watched on as the void phrased the fabric of time like a terrified god that fears the offspring of his own creations. One terrible, terrible metaphor. Just an awful metaphor. But suddenly there was you. You stirred the life within the stones. These stones, children of stars. They place ribbons along my fingers like phantoms out of time. New threads emerge and I began to weave anew. Star stone gives me new strands to braid into the tapestry. And because you give star stone energy, you are creating time. These star stones, please, seek them so that time may yet be mended. Please, for the sake of all that lives and all that loves, seek them so that the void may, get, may yet devour itself alone. There are many questions I have for you. I don't know why I spoke in that voice. Ask and I shall answer if I can. Who are you really? <laughs> blah blah blah. She's the key weaver of time. She's blah blah blahing. Why is the star stone so important and why does it react to my and my colleague alone? Alas, the answer to those questions still elude me. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. You call this place the press of ages. Is that what it is? No more, no less? That in itself is a lot. Aye. More and more, more than most rooms can claim, but no. The press of ages is not to be all in end all of its curious pl plane. What it is, is but a seed bereft of sun and water. What it could be is what the star stones will tell. But basically, we'll get star stones, I guess, and they'll open up different portals here. Um, I resided in another room altogether, but ever since the end of time appeared in these deep dark skies, I materialized here as if forced to watch the one thing that is unwatchable, unendurable, a thankless task that you may yet free me from forever. Uh, I do not usually talk. Come to think of it, when I addressed you, it was the first time my voice was ever invoked. Wow. I have no need to conversation. We should tell the inn the wind's tale. I'm not sure I want to tell the imp. I don't know if he deserves it. Well, hello there. Hello there. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just going to tell them about all the stuff. We're going to bust through this stuff. Done. So, I've got the ability now to go back to wherever we want. Um, probably... 